welcome back. Welcome back to round number two. Uh, this game here, I, I think I misspoke last round. I said that uh, the uh, jump pluff deck was uh, Steve Silvestro's list. Clearly, I was totally mistaken. Uh, that jump pluff deck came from uh, some friends of mine in Indiana. Uh, Jacob Willinger kind of helped us out build that. and There were some tweaks in there to help out with the uh, SP matchup. So... Clearly, it did not help out the Gyarados matchup under any circumstance. So now we got the... Uh, hey, not, not getting the clade all made all the difference in that game, though. Absolutely. So hey. now, now we got the Steven Silvestro list, Speed Drill versus uh, Tyranitar. Tyranitar Prime. So this should be... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how this is going to go at all. Well, I don't know, man. If he gets that Tyranitar going, it's a two-hit KO. Um, that's super high hit points. Does the Tyranitar Prime spread at all? Is is that even possibly a feasible option against Speed Drill? I mean, it could be. That would be interesting. I don't think I'd go that route. But um, just trading trading uh, one knockout straight on Speed Drills versus uh, two hit KO on T Tar is probably the yeah, way. Yeah, they go. they can't one shot the T Tar. No, they cannot. Yeah, just the speed drill. Overwhelm it with speed. And you don't have to with the Lux Ray with the Lux Ray in there, they could just chip around it. But they need to absolutely have a way to continue setting up the, the bead drills afterwards. As well, such a great card. Yeah. All the chat out start. Oh, go Puka. Unknown unknown Q is not awful either. No trade. No, whoops. <laughs> I can't do that, Dwayne. Uh -oh. how, how did we ever play with no trainers on the first turn? Uh-oh. Chat out Swarm. Yeah, Unknown Q oh. is weak to Unknown Q. No, put the expert belt on Chat out and attack. <laughs> I don't even know if that's possible. I, well, they're not going to have double in speed drill anyways. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, Oox oh, oh. Oxy does it too. Do it. Oh, Oxy will do it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. He, he's not gonna do oh, it. Oh no! Gosh! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's okay if it's he's right. got broken time space into the clay doll. Yeah, he, but for, he could still get there. But for style points, you just want to drop the Uxie and attach the no, expert. No, no, no. This is the, the this Q. is the real flex. Is going for the clay doll. Although it does not look like there's a clay doll. Just broken, broken time space to Kakuna here. Oh no! Hey, you know this. So, they're retro decks, and, uh, you know, we have people who we, are... We're, we're trying to play games. We're not trying to donk everybody yeah, all day. Well, I mean, that's... that's. But still, I would have went with the style points <laughs> and the expert belted the Uxie. That would have been fantastic. Hey, Swipman, what's going on, buddy? So, yeah, the T-Tar deck is just going to want to set up as many basics as possible. Definitely needs to get rolling as quickly as he can. Get the Lavatar down. I I don't even want Shaman anymore. <laughs> can we rear candy you soon? Yes, you can. Yeah, oh my goodness. You absolutely can. Chat out was put in most decks uh, just as a hand refresher. It's a good free I, retreater. If you start with it, there's no real downside to having chat out in your deck. I, for, I forget what year we actually errated the rare candy rule. It was 12. 12. Was it 12? 12, yeah. 12? Yep. Didn't you, didn't you yeah, we know, we know he should have won, but uh, we're trying to play these games out as long as we can. Um, I was going... Yeah. Uh, I was telling Jeremy I'd like to go with the style points and put the expert belt on the Uxy just to hit that unknown as hard as you possibly could. Well, it would knock out the unknown. 
You yeah. don't even need the expert belt to tweak I know, the psychic. But <laughs> that's why you go for the style points. Tyranitar doesn't want to retreat. So Nick is uh, generally not familiar at all with the retro decks, but he's a a, a, a very knowledgeable player. Yeah, from from our local area, so he came out to play. Dwayne, however, has been playing since he was in. Uh, yep, it's gonna juniors. do thirty to the active because of the special dark. Yeah, it would do thirty. Right. So Dwayne's been been playing. Um, for, for many, many years now, um, at least since 2002, uh, maybe longer. Candy was eroded when Black and White was released. What year was that, Franco? 2011. They're all a blur. Yeah, it's all a blur. We might as well just say they took Rare Candy out of the game. I, when Black and White was released. I, I measure my Pokemon seasons by the rogue decks that Jimmy creates. <laughs> hey, Piper. Um, it's it's going to be very unlikely anyone plays uh, Sable Lock or Chen Lock. Those are extremely Frank, skill-intensive Franco wanted decks. to do the mirror match. Um, I, I think maybe Franco and I will give it a shot. Oh, goodness. Um, next round. Um, what are you holding there, Franco? He, he wants to he, play he Sableock, wants it. so I'll play my Electro deck against him and see how that works out. I'm just going to blow up Electrodes and see what happens. <laughs> he, he's got the full team of Weedles out. We, we just got to start seeing some Beedrills. So we actually put a poll out there in, um, I think we put it out there in Snowpoint and let people vote. I want to thank, you know, we had just over 80 or so votes go out what year we should play. Um, we're not going to do the same year uh, week after week, so we're going to run through. I think I have nine different years to select from, so we definitely want to get some variety out there. Uh, we absolutely will not be playing the same decks in the same day, so you'll get some variety as far as matchups go. Um, We'll put out there next week to vote on what year. It seems like 06 is a fan favorite, um, but we'll put another poll out there excluding 2010. That's why we weren't terribly upset with uh, 2010 being this week to get it out of the way because it's uh, SP-dominated format. It, it really is a turning point for the game that went from um, you know slow setup decks to extremely fast, you know, high damage output deck so <laughs> gonna read Uxie. yeah Nick wants you to get a good look at his hat so th I mean this isn't the worst spot you're gonna all the weedles are gonna get spread damage too likely but the chat out will get knocked out and then he'll be able to run a full board of drills and clay dolls which is all this deck really wants to do right yeah, so the chat out going away wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Uh, Ground War Turtle. My favorite year, believe it or not, is 2007. Uh, in my playing career, I feel like I had the most impact with uh, building several different rogue decks that year. Uh, the play style was fantastic with limited to no gusting ability, uh, very little hand refresh. Um, so you were able to build your deck and play every single card in it. And for a rogue player such as myself, um, those types of decks were absolutely the most fun for me to play. So, All right. T-Tar is up in the prize race. Nick's contemplating this Bay Bay search here. I don't know what else was in his hand, but I feel like uh, it just looks like a bunch of trainers, a Bay Bay, a maintenance, a Roseanne's, and a Kakuna. No, to no broken tide space, and these decks really slug along. He needs to set that clay doll here. Reaper. 
surprise. No, he's got clay all set already. No, oh, there's one in play. Yeah, there's one in play. I'm, I might have Roseanne for an energy and another ball toy. And hope to draw into the broken time space off of a clay doll draw. But he definitely needs to start damaging this Tyranitar. Yeah, that, that single Tyranitar can run right through you if you allow it to. Falls into a Kakuna. Second Kakuna. Oh. Clayed all for a fresh six. Ooksy's not bad. Broken time space. Get there. Oh, candy's not bad. Get there. Oh, flutter wings. Or candy. No flutter wings for Beedrill. Or fl he could flutter wings for the, the clay doll and draw no. another six. But you can't do it for any Pokemon, really. I'm pretty sure it's for grass or grass Pokemon. Search for a grass Pokemon. So you can't get the clay doll. I mean, he just evolved into the Kakuna, so he has to go get another... He could get the other Flutterwings and then search out the next Beedrill. And then he could Luxury Ball for the Clay Doll. But he doesn't have a Broken Time Space yet. But the Clay Doll could get him in. Oh, yeah, he, he, he already, already Clay Doll. Okay, gotcha. He's going to try to draw some cards with the Ooksy. He just played the Luxury Ball here. What does he have in yeah. hand? Going to draw five off of Ooksy? Come on. <sighs> what was it? No Clay Dolls in the first game, no Broken Time Spaces in, in this set? In the second game, yeah. I feel like a after this turn, Nick Nick is definitely going to get going, though. His... Oh. Yeah, I like this. D did he attack? I think he should try and hit the super scoop up on the Oxy first before you warp point here. To see that if it's going to, it's going to take. Huh? Did he attach his turn? I, I, I missed it. I don't think so, no. Uh, read the Uxie attack. It's good. Well, it's, it's, he just realized he, he could have scooped up the Uxie. Yeah. <laughs> he should have played that scoop up first. Yes. All you need is a broken time space. Yeah, and, and you're just going from that point. Granted, he's out of bench space right now. Uh, Swiftman, we think T-Tar has the advantage just because it could one-shot the, the Beedrills, the attacking Beedrills, whereas Beedrill can't swing back for... Um, an instant knockout. The high hit points on the Tyranitar kind of gives it an advantage in that aspect. I can't find a broken time space to save my life. I don't know. <laughs> Nick's complaining about the time space not being there. I think there's four. I'm not going to lose three. There's three. Probably. There's not two time space in that deck. I think it's three. It's got to be three. Yeah. It was a three or a four of. I mean, occasionally some players would run two just knowing that most of the format ran broken time space, oh, except for SP. There is a time space, but we probably will not we see it hit the won't board. See it. Spirit Tomb. Shocked we, that that would have that would have changed a lot if the Spirit Tomb was the start with the Tyranitar deck. Beedrill gets no trainer cards. Just 
show beats. They got music in their headphones over there while they're playing the game, and uh, oh, oh. time space is definitely not hitting the board. And then the sidekick restore for forty. This is the the best play of the entire year, is psychic restore. Yep, nothing's happening with that Tyranitar. No. All right, but we should finally start to see some attacking bead drills at the board. We're gonna start off with that scoop up. Yes. It's just a little better than putting it back at the bottom of the deck. What do you go for here? I another searching bee drill and just spam the board. Yeah, because you you lay the flutter wings and then you can get out the two other ones. Cause uh, Nick, I believe. Come on, grab flutter wings. I believe Nick bottomed the night maintenance no. he had. Yes. So it, at the moment, he doesn't even look like he has a a efficient way to set up bee drills after they've been well, knocked out. he does out. have Uxie in hand, so he's trying to thin his hand down to get a, a oh, new set of cards. Um, ideally, he would hit off that Uxie a broken time space and a super scoop up so that he could set a second clay doll and just really start going. Well, he's got the ball toy. No offense to the other ball toy. Uh, tower. It, was that a luxury ball or a broken? It, it was an expert belt. Oh my goodness. Yeah, even with expert belt, the drill doesn't get there. I mean, he, he doesn't want to play that belt this entire game. The T-Tar will just run right through the expert belt, too, and take the extra prize. There you go. I think Nick's starting to figure it out a little bit here. Is it just for one turn? No. No, it stays on there forever. It doesn't, you don't, it doesn't take damage. It's just a shield. They're explaining what Unknown G does. Stops the effects of attacks it's to the Pokemon good. it's attached to. It's for takeout Machamp, oh, so you oh, attach oh. it to like your SP stuff. So takeout stuff. Everyone's trying to have so much of both. Yeah, it's really tanky. Yeah, it absolutely is. And it, 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 uh, of Piper, it also gets the benefit of uh, the special darks. So even with expert belts on B drills, it can get over it with those special darks. And then you start exchanging, you know, two prize B drills for two two hit knockout T Tars. That's really bad math for the B drill. Yeah, I don't think the unknown G truly matters in this matchup. The Tyranitar is not doing any status effects of the sort. I mean, you no. got rid of it so you don't draw it later. So it's not necessarily really. Good. And you got Uxie, that's not really good. What? Still no. Broken times. No, it it just it's awful. Doesn't exist. And Dwayne just keeps drawing the rare candies. So if he needs to set up anything else, right? I mean, at this point, Dwayne could drop the broken time space. It's irrelevant, but it does. It would help him. It would help Nick after knockouts. So yes, if Nick isn't setting the broken time space, then I guess there's really no reason for for Dwayne, Dwayne to, to play do so it. either. No. I, d I definitely didn't realize just how little the Tyranitar deck can actually operate on. Yeah, this is just a, an aggressive uh, T-Tar build. Uh, looking through the deck as Dwayne was going through it, I did see a Machamp in there. So that would mean that this is the T-Tar Machamp. But against Beedrill, I don't think you set Machamp under any circumstance. You agree? I, with the Rare Candy rule, if you can donk and start with the Machop, I guess. But there's truly no reason to play it in here. This uh the speed. Oh, there we go. 
think Dwayne may have made a mistake here playing that card. All right, right, just for an extra card. Yeah. Nothing in his hand looked at all that impactful. Could have drawn that double next turn. Do you see anything in Nick's hand that leads you to believe I, that he could? I don't even know if he's going to be able to set back up. He shuffled a couple of Night Maintenance back into his deck and... Played on a one point. He's going to have to play a lot of cards in his hand. Yeah, I don't see any real easy way for him to get that back into his hand. Maybe he'll draw Night Maintenance, who knows. That'd be funny. So <laughs> Dwayne is known for these types of plays, like attaching Rainbow when you only have 10 hit points left. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so I wouldn't put it past Dwayne to do something like that. Did he use the bottom attack? Megaton press? Yeah, so did he discard the three cards? He milled cards, okay, yes. Okay, okay. Oh, he drew a knight! Oh, that's <laughs> so perfect! Well, no, I mean, sure, it gets him back in the deck, but... Well, he's got the Rosans in hand, so the Beedrill's in play can get the Kakuna and the Beedrill to get everything back yeah, up. Yeah, and since he's set... Oh, wait, gotta take no, that Kakuna. Oh, no, oh, no. No! The Kakuna definitely has to go back in the deck. Absolutely. Unless he has Rare Candy in hand, which I don't think this deck even runs. I'm not candy. sure we played Rare Candy no, in I here. I don't think it does. Vidro played three candy also? Apparently. Well, he hasn't got it yet. One, two. Well, he's only, he only had one energy left in the deck before that. He's got two in there now, at least. No. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll show Nick how to play this. <laughs> Play the Weedle. Uh, he had a grass in hand. You definitely need to put that Kakuna back still. I think you got to take your chance on the energy. Well, he's got Clade also. He can attach the Expert Belt. I don't think there's any reason not to attach the Expert Belt to the bead drill here. It, he's not getting that next Tyranitar up and going. Right? There's no other soon. energy in play. Uh, right. Yeah, Nick can de I mean, he might be able to turn the tide. Oh, and draws the rare candy immediately. And the night maintenance. I Yeah, I think Nick is definitely going to shift the tide of this game right away. He has the candy press. That'd be a one, right? Yes. yes. Only gets one prize for knocking out the Tyranitar. Yeah, see, Nick didn't use either Flutter Wings this turn either. Vindicate. We actually thought uh, he should put the expert belt on a fresh bead drill and attack with it, um, just so that he can try and get over these T tars quicker. Because T tars not going to get enough energy in play over the next three turns, really, to uh, do enough damage to knock out that bead drill. I mean, the, Nido, the the queen isn't going to make much of a difference here either. I mean, he's going to be on a two-shot game regardless that, of that heal damage. I was going to say, is that the, that's the heal queen and not the search queen, right? I would believe so. Yeah. I don't know why we would play a, a searching stage two in this deck already. Yeah. Well, I mean, search queen was good once upon a time. Gonna spread some damage here. Probably not gonna be very impactful to the rest of the game. So Beedrill does have an advantage over T-Tar when it comes to speed. Just a one energy attachment for a quick 120. Um, but once those T-Tars get going, it, it can make it very difficult. I'm already seeing Dwayne have an issue keeping energy in play. Uh, he, I think he overcommitted. Uh, four energies to the first one. Uh, these 20 damages really don't make 
a big deal. Maybe you can kill the clay doll and, and an active in the same turn to take a two prize turn. Oh, well, that's why he wants the queen in play. I forget the T-Tart spreads to your own bench also. Heads it is. What does he choose? Ooh. That's interesting. Oh, goodness. All right. <laughs> Nick just realizing he didn't use the flutter wings. Uh, way to go, Nick. It's totally cool. <laughs> There we go. All right. He's probably going to realize he's going to need that Kakuna back eventually. There it is. Yeah, I think he rare candied one of the. Yeah, I must have missed the rare drills. candy on one of the original ones. So he had that extra one in the deck, which totally explains why he didn't take it off that night maintenance. All right. The audio's fixed. Well done, Dan. Thank All right. You. We can sign off now. <laughs> 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 yeah, just hold on. Uh, hold on to everything. Draw one card. Uh, no need to overcommit here. Does he have scoop up in his hand? Because if it, he does, he can get rid of that Uxie here. It doesn't look like it. Some rare candy, some warp points, night maintenance. The Titar is resistant to psychic, right? Weak to fighting. Weak to fighting, resistant to psychic. Oh, he just used the scoop up on that active B drill. Right. Yeah, I think he needs to get that second. The Claydol in play. After after he knocks out this Tyranitar, he he may have time to even psychic restore the Uxie, and give him that space to play the other the second Claydol down. Right, Piper. That's absolutely a way to go. But uh, Nick has zero experience in playing old retro decks, so that might be a little... Yeah, he, he may have not even read that Palmers yet. <laughs> I think that would be given too much credit at this point. Still spreading damage. Yeah, there's no reason not to. All right, he's got that second Pupitar with a double. So I think Nick needs to get the Luxray laid down um, this turn. He really needs to get a Super Scoop up at some point to try and get that Uxie out of here. Uh, maybe taking the, what's he at, 120? So we need to do 40. Uxie cannot knock out the T-Tar in this turn. <laughs> Second T-Tar goes down. All right, game is tied, 4-4. Four, four. There is a lot of damage in play on Nick's side. 50. There's another scary rainbow energy. I always worry that when Dwayne's going to attach it, it's going to knock out his Pokemon. <laughs> All right. Dwayne's going to collect her here. Did you see a T-Tar in there? I, I see him oh, a champ. All the Azulf is there. Yeah. Oh, t is in the deck also. I don't see the queen. I think he's searching for the queen here. I think he's digging for the queen. If, if he decides to try to go this spread route, he's get, he definitely has to heal Normal. the damage on his Claydol and his Uxies. Yeah, I don't think the Uxie plus the belt KO the t is as resistant to Psychic. It needed 40 hit points for the knockout, I believe. But otherwise, definitely would have been the way to go. Yeah, yeah, I agree. No, all real cards today. Yeah, Ninja, these are all real cards. These are part of the retro collection that can be found at TopCutEvents.com. Uh, I've been collecting this set roughly six years, five to six years now. Right, it's been a while. I, rem I remember when you started. Yeah. I, th I think you found your old uh, uh, two-player decks. And that's yeah, what and that's what got you back in the kick of it. Definitely do still have those. I mean, I think he's not gonna be super Oh no, that's not gonna be good. Oh. 
Dwayne is considering attacking with this Pupitar and Rawr, does so. He does it. I, I might have to say that this game is a wrap. Yeah, I, I hate to Especially agree. if that yeah. no, that Oopsie definitely wants the psychic restore. Even if it doesn't knock this out, I think. Although Nick might be able to do this with three B drills the rest of the game also. Vindicate. Had he done that, he would have uh he would have lost an opportunity to hit the super scoop up where he actually drew five more cards in a turn. So if you bottom that Uxie, that takes those super scoop up draws out of the equation completely. So not that he was thinking in that manner, but uh, having the Uxie on field when you have four super scoop ups in the deck is definitely a means to give you a 50-50 chance at hitting some additional draw that n normally would not be there. Yeah, we agree, Piper. We think uh, missing the Needle Queen has been kind of a pain for Dwayne here. I think Beedrill's going to overrun him now. Yeah, there's really nothing Nick needs to do at this point. Nick, Nick should be enough through his deck that even the one clay doll lets him see the cards that he wants every time. Right. It probably, probably is a mistake playing that. Yeah. I wouldn't do anything. I would just hold all my cards. Nope. Yeah. Just keep it in case Dwayne gets something going. And... Well, he can bottom something with clay doll. Just to kind of thin his hand down so that he can draw some cards next turn. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't necessarily need to draw anything, well, but he, see, could, he no. could bottom two cards. Yeah. Maybe baby search, fail, bottom a candy and a belt. Draw one and run. But especially with candy in hand, the, the two B drills and a night maintenance will be all he needs. Once you get those two flutter wings out, all you really need to do is, is keep night maintenance and either a Bebe's or a Roseanne's in hand at all times. But even if you get judged, odds are that you're going to draw those are very high, especially with clay dolls in play. B drill is a very, very consistent deck. Very repetitive. Every everything in the deck is close to four ofs. Oh, another scoop up, probably. Uh. He's probably going to try and hit the Uxie. I think I'd almost attack. Doesn't Pupitar have 70 hit points? It Well, it's got 50 on it already. Right, that's what I mean. I'd almost attack with Beedrill here. He could have played the Roseanne's to get the energy. Just retreated the Beedrill and attacked with the Uxie for knockout just to empty that bench spot. Yeah. I haven't been paying too much attention to the energy counts. There's only one left in play. There was only a couple left in the deck a couple turns ago. So he might be a little worried about losing energy if anything happens. So before this game is over, I got a real quick story to tell. Jeremy, I think you were there with me and John Sexton and Mr. Lucas at Kansas States. Oh, goodness. And uh, I was playing the answer at Kansas States, you know, a deck that I started testing out to compete with Guardy Gallade and uh, Macar or, uh, not Macargo. Meg Motor? Meg Motor. And uh, I got paired up against this like round three. I was 2-0. and oh, And the other guy was 1-1, one and one, so I got paired down. And he... Uh, he went first turn, and you know he had four Weedle set. I went and did my thing, and then turn two, this kid plays directly from his hand, Kakuna, 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 and he says, "Man, I've never done that before." Oh, and then he proceeds yeah, to I just stop this. my heart out. <laughs> I, I may have actually been watching this game. It was awful. He wrecked me so bad. Yeah, I have some awful B drill stories also. Round one in nationals just ruined my entire day. Uh, fail. Oh, we're just failing cards now. Yep, time space can't be removed from play in this format. I don't think I would have failed it there. I would have searched the energy, popped it on the Uxie, and bottom the Uxie for the knockout here as well. Yeah, the queen is going to be weak. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so searching it out with Roseanne's definitely would have been the play. Right, it's just going to put it right back in the deck as soon as you bottom it right, anyways. Exactly. Still holding that Palmer's in his hand. But 
Dwayne is not even close yeah. to mounting attack of any yeah, kind right now. No, no energy in play. Oh no, the Machop is bored. Uh oh. He's gonna take out for what is it, forty damage? Yeah, it's only gonna one. do forty. <laughs> that would totally shock Nick too for sure. Oh, 40, Dwayne's 60, gonna yep. concede it up. Dwayne's gonna concede. All right. If you guys, yeah. If you guys want, I don't care. Uh, lose, lo loser chooses. So they're they're gonna shuffle up and play another game here, uh, or play a best of three set. You don't want to play the answer. Uh, the answer consists of Pidget. Th yeah, uh, that is the Pidget the Delta, mirror, isn't it? It's Mirror Pidget, Mirror Move Pidget, Pidget Delta, uh, Gyarados, and a half a bottle of Tylenol. Oh goodness! It was <laughs> awful. <laughs> that deck was. Right, that, that, that's that's the deck you came up with right after. Uh, the the Gyarados Bennett deck, the nope. arithmetic deck. So the answer was the uh, first idea that evolved into the Bennett Gyarados, the arithmetic. Yeah, because that's the one we everybody took to Wisconsin that yeah. Wisconsin states that one year. Yeah, and regionals. I couldn't. That I was deck. Going to Vegas. That deck was fantastic. The Pidget, the Delta deck. I couldn't play that deck. Yeah, that was very very. Mirror move was extremely difficult, but it was really good against Gallade because. For obvious reasons, if you just uh, mirror move the the Gallade, it made it kind of kind of fun. Or if you psychic lock the the Gardevoir, it made it yeah difficult the psychic for them. lock right. <laughs> Can't wait until we have some Guardy games planned. So my my suggestion is if you want to take a look at the decks, go to TopCutEvents.com. You could take a look at what was in the deck, but I strongly suggest staying away from the answer unless you want a headache at the end of the day. Yeah, loser picks. Loser go, loser chooses to go first or second. I'll play second. Or not loser, but the player who mm -hmm. So lost. Dwayne, Dwayne chose to go second. Nick's not going to be able to play any trainers. Going to get two Baltoy set up immediately, though. Yeah, Psychic Lock, I mean, really, Magmortar and Guardi were probably... The beginning of that, se the be beginning of that city season. City Championships, definitely. Yeah, we're... Uh, by the time we were in state championships that year, I would say if you Magmortar weren't went away. trying to beat Gardevoir, you were probably not doing it right. Right. But this year was pretty much dominated by SP decks. Absolutely. Um, I didn't see many people other than myself playing Gardevoir. And then, end of nationals into worlds, everybody decided it was the best deck. <laughs> yeah. So. I, didn't, I didn't play anything but Electrode. I built some random decks here and there, but nothing was as fun as Electrode. There's nothing better than beating a Machamp deck with Electrode. It makes me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, winning any games with the Electrode deck are fun. So a couple of Weedle set up with a ball toy. That's not a bad first turn. Really. Nope, not with not being able to play any cards. I'd say that's exactly what you How want, you especially against game? the ball toy. Right, so Dwayne has a very very rough hand. Getting Uxie here is not even going to draw many cards. Oh, it looks like uh, grass decks are four and zero today. No, that jump Pluff deck didn't win any games. Oh, it did not. <laughs> you smoked it. I forgot. <laughs> it didn't even take a prize. Uh, it's funny. Wait, who thought Sableye was a good card? Yeah, who would have thunk it? So, Dwayne's going to go for that Uxie anyway. He's going to have to draw something. Has to see more cards here. You know, Piper, we were talking, uh, the Guardi decks used to have uh, Team Galactic's Wager that they would oh, put in. Oh, man, playing rock, paper, scissors. Every single turn just to try and get their hand down and then Psychic lock them afterwards was awful. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh. 
Wager with three to four in each deck. And telepaths. You, everybody's just getting wagered every turn of the game. It, it was... And then they and do you remember when they told us for a little while we couldn't use the rock paper scissor cards? They actually made us yeah, play rock paper scissors. But then they they kind of went back on that. So long as they were randomly selected instead of forcefully selected, which yeah. I, did, I couldn't tell the difference. Uh, I guess rock paper scissors is supposed to be a random game instead of a thinking game. I, I yeah, have no I don't idea, know. But I use the cards because. Some people went on rock, paper, scissors, and other people went on rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And then other people wouldn't even slap their hands. They would just hit the table three times. <laughs> it was really <laughs> crazy how some people would do it. So, Oh, no. So just to get, give you some behind the scenes. Uh, Dan just walked all the way around the table, which is like a good half city block. <laughs> walked all the way over here and adjusted my mic directly up to my mask. <laughs> so if that's a little too much, let me know. I tend to laugh very, very loud and breathe very heavy because I haven't run on purpose in years. Uh, it looked like Nick only took two Pokemon off of that collector. Oh yeah, there's a game going on. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could get lost in the years between 08 and 2010 very easily. Yeah, 7 was my favorite year like I said. Um, I'm not a big fan of anything after uh, SP's released. Uh, 2012 is not really a highly thought of year but i actually quite enjoyed it um dark ride mewtwo celebi you know those sort of cards were dominating those years but uh the diversity in decks in 2012 was fairly refreshing granted the limited supporter pool and trainer pool was kind of crappy but yes it was rough um, um we we either just got random receiver or just lost it around that time right no i think it was i, I think it was in there but but decks were what f four to six to eight supporters and then just all random receivers all your supporters wanted to do were draw cards there right. there was no no utility supporters kakuna 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 does it <laughs> did he clay it already we were talking about past years let's see what he does here well it looks like the expert belt might hit board this game I just hope he doesn't lay a flutter wings on, on the expert belt. One, two, three. Oh, so many scoop ups. Oh my gosh. Probably don't want to play the chat out this game. What's he trying to scoop up here though? Claydol maybe? Yes. Hit Claydol. Oh. oh. I'm not sure he's familiar with uh, you can just pick it up, drop it. No, he, he, back men down. he mentioned in game one that he would have scooped up the clay doll with, if he had a broken time space in play. So he's definitely aware. I'm not sure I'd want to burn any more cards here to play another Ooxie. Ooh. No energy in hand? Nope. Uh, oh. I mean, he did stick that double colorless on that clay doll for the rest of the game. He might get an opportunity to retreat with that. I would love to see Dwayne take a knockout with clay doll just by attaching the rainbow. Oh, there is the rainbow in there. Yeah, there's there. rainbow energies in there. Yeah, Piper, the entire collection uh, from 2003 to 2012, anywhere there could be an e-reader card, uh, I replaced it. The only issue I had was with Special Dark and Special Metal. As the years went on, they, they changed the wording on those cards, so I had to stick with the the year-appropriate dark darkness and metal energy. Uh, other than that, every single place that there was, you know, 
an e-reader card to be had. I absolutely played it when and where I could. Oh man, here comes all the damage. It almost looks identi identical to last game. Well, that Weedle on the bench is going to have to... Eh. Yeah, he's got to hit the flutter wings That, that one's That one's going to be scary for a couple of turns. No. I would go ahead and attach that energy to the expert belt weedle so that you don't forget to <laughs> drop a flutter wings on that. Yeah. Although I suppose if he's just not intending to use that drill at all this game, might just think it's safe on the bench. Everyone needs to forgive uh, Dan, our producer. He's interfering in the game unnecessarily. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Have faith in you. I seriously think he should just go after the oh the Beedrill, but. He, 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 chose... he may just be lo trying to lower his hand size as much as possible. Yeah, see it. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, He's go. gonna put it on the one yep. with the belt. Yep, I agree with this. Thinking about it really hard, though. I am a firm supporter of the energy with the expert belt. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a whole lot of nothing. That's a lot of crap. He may try to scoop up. I mean, he could get a Flutter Wings and a bee drill and at least attack for 30, 50, 80. He could attack for 80 this turn. He's not getting knocked out next turn. Yeah. That puts the pressure on him to set another Larvitar. Lar yeah, exactly. And he's going to need to attach another energy to this one to take knockouts. I mean, he could get three bee drills out this turn. He's got the babies in hand and the collector. It's there you go. Do I play the Oopsie back? Push out the expert belt. Yeah, I think he's still a little afraid to attack with that one. <sighs> That's gonna be a. I know you don't have a follow up attacker. Okay, should start seeing some B drills. Let's go, baby. Flutter wings. Bam. Does it. Flutter wings for second flutter wings if it's in the deck. Well, where's he going to attach it? He can't. He has to go for this one. What he could have done here, Jeremy, was he could have uh, searched out the Kakuna for here. He could have flutter wings for Kakuna here and then Bay Bay's for another flutter wings and then set up the bee drill there. Yeah. Looks like he's going to see that right now. Yeah. No. So you, you laid on the one without the expert belt so that you can evolve that one into flutter wings. Now, if you go to another flutter wings, you can't set up it. another bee drill. Yeah. So you lay the cocoon on the one without the expert belt here. In yeah, this will this will force him to almost have to rare candy that one. Right, exactly. Oh, but just Three, dropping his hand down four, to draw as many cards. Five. One more. Broke. Yeah, that didn't help. Damn. All right, maybe you shouldn't leave your decks all in order before we play two. I'm sorry, <laughs> I keep my stuff organized. <laughs> I still think attaching the Kakuna to the one with the expert belt is absolutely the wrong play. But it definitely would have evolved the other Weedle. I'm not sure I would have attacked with... I, I like not attacking with the expert belt one this turn.
Yeah. Dwayne has absolutely nothing in his hand. Gotta think about where to put this energy if this warp point is worth playing. Does he have a Baltoy in play? What are, what's his bench? A, a Baltoy and an Uxie. So, <laughs> here. What Dwayne could have done here, what Dwayne could have done here is he could have war pointed. He could have war pointed. That would have got his hand down one card. I think there was something else he could have played, but then he could psychic balance with Baltoy. Nick's hand was, you know, seven cards. Giving him seven new cards, like he could have attached the one of the energies, and he would have drawn five cards with psychic balance. Yeah, that would have given him a fresh, fresh start in the game, and protected the. Sure, he would have lost the Baltoy for that turn. But no, he he could he he definitely could have attached to this Uxi, attacked with Ball Toy, had the Uxi to retreat after a knockout. Right. And yeah, definitely would have had a bunch of cards in his hand to work with. Nick draws that rare candy in the search free drill. Well, he did. That's exactly what he was hoping to get. So that actually worked out for him. Nicole I love when you make a mistake and it works out. For your <laughs> never like punished. The next turn. Yeah. But, never, um, never happened for me. It, it looks like this was the only attacking B drill in the deck for Nick right now. Uh oh. That means he needs to get that as elf. So Tyranitar is not getting knocked out this turn. Is it? 160. And Nick just drew like every supporter left in the deck. That's probably all that's left. I know there's a 1 1 clay doll left in there. Can't hit, can't hit them all. Can't he just take the knockout here? That's well. He's only got three B drill in play. Oh, because he that that last one, one is definitely. He needed to hit that so he could drop the Azelf to pick it up. Fifteen. Ah, oh, that's that's awful. Right. No crowbats in the B drill deck. Right. This this is gonna be a a scary knockout. I believe Nick does have the maintenance in his hand, but can't just keep recycling the same one. I mean, the position that Dwayne is in, you absolutely can. Uh, but All we're going to get to re Psychic Restore the Tyranitar this game. Well, no, he needs to uh, hit the Expert Belt if he's going to knock out that T-Tar. Yeah, it's resistant. Oh, yes. And Nick just realized that Tyranitar uh, has resistance. Yeah. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I think he just realized he needed the expert belt. Let's see if they're in the deck. Because they're not in his hand. They gotta be in the deck. afford to attach the ooks regardless I think 
yeah, you'd have you'd be forced to retrieve it off. He's gonna burn the rare candy so he gets more cards with the the clay doll. But uh, it did not look like there was another expert belt in the deck either. Maybe we'll see off of this clay doll. Nick's trying to attack with the Kakuna now. That would be great. You put the second energy on the Kakuna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure where this B drill is going to be getting knocked out. No, I don't see. Finally. Is that Nick's first? Prize. That's the wow. first prize. The T-Tar took three attacks. It wow. Like. That's crazy. I don't know if Nick uh, drew the B draw off his prizes. Gonna put that back. Well, yeah, he has to to get the clay doll. Yeah, there's the one one the champ line in there. I'd like him just a war point, and Nick pops out Oxy, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> just broken time space, my champ. Got him. I can't tell you how many times you take a knockout with my champ for 40 damage against an evolution Pokemon, I, and they're like, I can't say oh, I've it seen it often. It doesn't <laughs> knock it out. I'm like, yeah, it does. It does 40 damage. Come on. He does draw something. them a chop. And the rare candy, look at this, not that he needs it. Three. Yeah, that is that's pretty bad. You just broke in the uh Yeah, might have to play that anyways. Twenty more to the B drill. They're just gonna sacrifice them a chop. Hey, I'm not uh I'm not at all happy that he didn't add that fifth damage counter to the Uxie before he put it on the bottom <laughs> of his deck. <laughs> Thinking about playing the Cynthia's. Only gonna get him four cards. Yeah, not much going on in his hand. The Machop is also weak to Psychic. An Expert Belt with the Uxie could take that knockout also, no? Right. But more importantly, it frees up that bench spot. So you could set that second clay doll or the uh, chat out for the free retreat, which will allow you to run through your entire turn before you make a decision oh, if you can it. attack pick or up not. The act pick up the active. No. Don't pick up the active. <laughs> Don't. Can draw five cards. Oh, there's the expert belt. Man, that's what happens with B drill late game. Once you get everything out, it's like your turns are just so bland. It's the go, you know. I would still search out the Kakuna here. Yeah, he has not fluttered wing yet. Yeah. In fact, I think I would have. Uh, flutter wings before you clay doll just to take that out of your deck so you're not drawn into a, a dead card essentially one that you could have gotten yeah. guaranteed uh, come on can clay doll knock that out with expert belt rainbow six y y yeah no, it's one short right B oh, because of the because of the expert belt yeah. it's short does it? <laughs> <laughs> we we did want to see the clay doll attack this game, but it's supposed to take a knockout, so that's no fair. Yeah. I mean, no tool removal in this format either. No. So the the expert belt has to get knocked out, not taken off of the Pokemon. Yeah. 
Did did Nick maybe prize the fourth Kakuna also? There's the communication. Nope. That's it. Don't GG. think we've seen the B drill out of there either. GG, nope. Dwayne. Wah, wah, wah. Tyranitar is going to get benched a, out. Dwayne needed a Roseanne. <laughs> yeah, Dwayne needed a Roseanne that game. He couldn't set any basics. Dwayne, I think there were some opportunities early game where you could have psychic exchanged. That's what I thought about doing. But I was trying to... No. Not lose the ball till they get some damage in play. Yeah, there was particularly a turn where you had war point. You could have war pointed the Baltoy out, and you could have had your hand down to two, and Nick was sitting at seven fresh cards from Anuxi. You could have gotten the five cards and protected the T-Tar for another turn. But I was just trying to give it a push there, too. At least there were play right? If I could play <laughs> Right, yeah. little time, right? So spread, no. spread, and do the smaller. Attack. Spread sixty is is absolutely the way to go, and then you always got the double there if you need to get up. Yeah, oh yeah, we'll you, go, we'll go at optimal. Did, did Did you realize? Did you realize you could have donked them the first game? No. The 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 unknown Q is weak to psychic, so your Roseanne's could have gotten you both your unknown Q and an energy, or an Uxie and an energy to do forty for the knockout. And then you could have attached the expert belt just for some style points. It was more entertaining to watch it for like another. Oh no! Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. We got we got to see lots of mistakes instead of just the first one. It's fantastic. Uh, all right. Well, we're gonna get uh, get set up for a, a, another game here. I think uh, Franco wanted to play. Definitely wants to play the Chen. He wants to decks. play Chen Lock. Uh, Suzanne, did you want to play a game? You can wait. Okay, then I will. Uh, I'll pull up my electro deck and see if I can beat uh, Franco's Sablock, and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> 